Aww. I expanded their minds as opposed to destroying their their souls. Turn every X into an O, then press the swatch. Alright. I can handle this puzzle, Papyrus. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I left it there. Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta, just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. They do like, like, like skeleton dogs. Yes, they do. Also, hi, Papyrus. Just gonna, just gonna ignore me now, apparently? Alright. My brother started the sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what the what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> yeah, Papyrus is pretty cool. Uh, I assume I need to do the same thing. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by raising the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow falls to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is no way around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Alright, so... I do... Oh, crap, I screwed it up. Wait, what? Uh... I assume that means I did it wrong? Yeah, okay. Alright, so here's the plan that they do. Whoop, well, okay. That's not what I meant to do. Here's the plan that they do. We're gonna go down through this middle section, and then we're gonna do... Oh. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna... We're gonna... This is so simple, I can't believe I'm having trouble thinking this through. Oh, I can do this. Okay, we go through here. And then we go through this one, and then, nope, that doesn't solve it either. Does it? Oh, wait, yes, this will do it. Okay, so we come up through here. There's probably a much more efficient way to do that instead of entering the maze three times, but I did it anyway. Also, I messed up, because now I can't leave. Oh, I could have just gone the other direction. Shit. Okay, that's fine. So we go up here, and then we can just go this way. And then, let's go there, and that kind of looks like Papyrus' face. Wow, you solved it, and you did it all without any help. Incredible! I'm impressed, you must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then, it might even be too easy for you. Yeah, ha ha, ha ha ha. Hi, it's Sans again. Good job of solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> now, now that I, I have actually spoken to Sans more than like once, I actually get to see the ch the fact that he is actually incredibly lazy. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Doctor Alfies. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them. You will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide into the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Understand the explanation. Hell yeah. Great! There's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, man. I don't know what's going to generate, but this looks atrociously difficult. Oh, man. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> so, are the good doctor's puzzles actually difficult? Hell no. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. 
It wasn't too bad for my brother since he started cooking lessons. He's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> Machine isn't working. Aw, oh, at least that part didn't change. Did this dog lick the thing and get its tongue stuck? Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Oh, I see. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. <laughs> uh, I know how that feels sometimes. Aware of dog, please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pomer pomer raisins. Well, can I have one? That sounds pretty good. I really I really could do with a pomer raisin. Let's talk to this hipster looking cow mofo. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Dude. Who's ableist? Alright. So, let's do this. I screwed it up. No, I didn't. Did I? Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to pan out well for me. Okay, so let's go over here and immediately mess it up. Okay, here's what we got to do. We just trace backwards from where we need to go. So we go middle, down, do, 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 do. There we are. Figured it out. Start here, we basically just spiral inwards. And then we'll have hit the button, and then everyone can be like, Wow, bird, you are smart as hell. No wonder everyone thinks you're smart as hell and thinks you're incredibly sexy and they give you lots of money. Yay! I made this very, very, very tiny bridge. And I solved the puzzle in one try. Hey, it's a papyrus statue and a sand statue. Uh... It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it in red marker. Well, uh, I will give it to Sans' credit. He, at the very least... Oh, I have to do the puzzle again? Oh, never mind. At the very least, Sans actually, like, went through the effort of putting down a, uh, um, the marker marks. Which I didn't think he actually had it in him, but whatever. Let's see if this actually makes the thing go away. That would be horrible. Alright, if we go through this area, we're gonna wind up with a surprise. We have a little bowler. Well, the last time I did it, we had a dog, which is admittedly considerably cooler than the bowler. But maybe I'm being a little bit judgmental about the bowler. I, I mean, yeah, now it's just a lump. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, hi, Sans. What's up? Alright, so this was an area I went into. Uh, what the hell? Oh, God, what the hell are you? Gift Trot? We'll gift it. Gift Trot refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Oh, jeez. This thing is really, really freaky looking. Uh, undecorate it? Remove a childhood photograph of Snow Drake and his parent. That's a little better. Um. Oh, shit. I see how that's supposed to go. Uh, let's just keep undecorating it then. Remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Alright, so the idea is basically that one is based on an old time of classic called the Shell Game. And what I need to do, I think is, I need to, I need to check which one has the, has the, uh, oh. Yay, then we can spare it. And we got some gold for doing that. Let's talk to Sans again. Say, are you following me? N no. So I need to come back to this area, I think. Because I came to this area once, and then nothing happened when, from, come, like, nothing came of it. But there was an area, like, much, much, much later on, where I got something called, like, the Mystery Key or something. And I never got to figure out what exactly that thing did. So, we're gonna come back to this area at the end of the game. And we're gonna try out that there Mystery Key. And see what the hell happens, because I am very curious to figure out who d who is behind that there, that there door. Woof. What, a tiny dog house. Yeah, very, very nice. Um, let's see. If I remember, there was basically nothing in this area. Oh, right, right, there's the, there's the thing I was looking for. Oh, look at the cute little pop pop. It's adorable. It's so cute, and oh my god. Time to fight it. It's the greater dog. <laughs> I love this song. I'd forgotten this song was in the game. 
Okay, let's uh, pet it. Gritter Dog is too far away to pet. We just pet the air. It probably assumes it's some sort of attack. Oh man, it's spear confused me. How about we beckon it? I call the Gritter Dog. It bounds towards me, flecking slobber into your face. Okay, come on, turn gre blue. Uh, not greb or whatever the hell I said. It's the dog or not, bitch! Haha. <laughs> uh, pet. Now I can pet it. Aww. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zed. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh no! Oops, that was dumb of me. Greater dog is whatever. Uh, do we play with it now? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to me. Now dog is very tired and rests its head on you. Aw, oh, crap. Huh. I actually lost. <laughs> well, I mean, this is what happens when you try to play through the whole game when you're on uh, level one. I don't remember the last time I saved, but I don't think it was anywhere near this area, which actually is kind of annoying. But I know that this game is sometimes kind of weird about what it saves and what it says that it saves, and it looks like I have to do all this all the same. That's fine. I died to barking. This is truth. For better or worse, I died to getting barked to death. I'm not proud of how it went there, but I will say that, uh, like I said, getting through this game, 20 health, kind of hard. Luckily, I didn't have to go very far whatsoever to get to the save point, because, you know, I went through a bunch of side areas and nothing happened. But, uh, let's, let's go with this, with this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a dog. He's so little. No one sees this coming. Wow, it's a dog or not. I mean, oh, it's so cute. Now it's big. Yay. Okay. So, let's, uh, oh, crap, I fought it. Okay, that's good. I missed, though. Oops. And I didn't dodge there. That's fine. So, we'll, we'll beckon this, uh, this nya dog over here now. And then we'll pet it, and then it'll fall asleep once, and then we'll and then we'll make it play fetch, and then we'll see where we go from there. I assume basically I need to make this thing fall asleep over and over again, and then I'll be able to spare it and get a ton of get a ton of, of um get a ton of uh, money or not yeah money for doing it. Uh, Gritter Dog is patting the ground with its front paws, which just makes makes me think of the kibble dance. All right, we'll play with it now. Okay, now it's gonna fetch all the snow. I must spend the entire uh, stream making bad puns. I think that's perfectly within the spirit of this game, is to make terrible, terrible puns. Uh oh, it's gonna bark at me again. Okay, this is actually a lot easier, like, now that you got the gist of how it goes. Alright, so... Shall we pet it again? As you pet the dog, it sinks an entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh, crap, it make uh... Heh! Yeah. Aw. Okay, so maybe I just need to keep petting it over and over again. Hmm. Alright. Well, uh, I guess this is somewhat of an approximation of a boss. It's kind of weird to me. Am I, 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 it's weird, but I'm also... Oh, no. <laughs> it's weird to me how this game may, works with pacifism mode. I'm impressed by how they did it. Because it's like, if you fight things regularly, it's kind of like a very typical like fighting game. But if you go through it with pacifism mode, it's completely different. It literally is just like you just dodge everything, and it, they still made that quite challenging. I find that very, very impressive from a game design standpoint, that they were able to develop those two ideas in a pretty reasonable way. A uh, combination of petting and playing will grant me victory. Yeah, I figured as much. I mean, the idea is we need to keep putting the damn thing to sleep, so we can't use, apparently, Vicodin or anything like that for it. We need to use, you know... There's like lots of vigorous playtime activities. I like how its head is so much bigger in the in the in-game sprite than it is in the like in-fight sprite. I also just now noticed that its its bangle has a dog face on it, and the tip of its spear also has a dog face on it. That's amazing. Well, let's beckon this greater dog over here. And oh no, here comes a slobber. Which apparently is represented by this gigantic spear. Which, apparently, I just take damage from getting hit in the face by the side of the spear, rather than the pokey bit. Okay, so this is one pet, and it's gonna bark bark at me. But all I need to do is just kinda hang out here, and then when I see it bark bark, just dodge. Like, move a tiny, tiny bit to the, to the left and or the right. Yeah, as I was saying, if you want to see something amazing, look up Corgi Kibble Stomp Dance, or just like Corgi Kibble Dance. 
And you'll see a dog that is pretty damn stoked on food and also incredibly terrible at eating. It's, uh, it's, it's a very cute video, but then again, at the same time, it's very frustrating because it's like, damn it, dog, eat the food already. All right, so, uh, we still haven't pet enough. This is officially the furthest I've ever gotten with this boss fight. Here's hoping I can make it happen. Uh, pet capacity is 40%. Let's keep petting then. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with the legs hanging in the air. Oh no, oh no. You got through that. And now what do I need to do? Play? Try that. Greater dog is too tired to play. Okay, so we move to the far left, and then we get through that. Can I spare it then? I can. Yay! 40 gold. Oh, it was a little dog inside of a... Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. I love this game. And I think I killed that dog last time I played through the game. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yes, we cannot use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Anyway, away it goes! Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh. Heh. Heh. I assume Sans is still going to be sitting there. That's good. He is a creepy dude, but with his ability to kind of teleport all around all over the place. They're going to drop the bridge on me? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. That's a tip. 